Hey guys, it's NST, Never Stop Traveling, and today we're gonna go over travel hack number nine, how to make friends when you're traveling. Traveling solo can be really lonely, but in this video, we're gonna go over how to make friends and have a great time when you're traveling by yourself. When I travel, personally, I prefer to travel by myself. I, I just find it easier to plan different things. I go for longer periods of time by myself. I don't mind traveling with people for maybe two weeks, maybe a month, but past, past two weeks, I kind of want to do my own thing. It depends on the person you travel with. If you have a really, really good friend who you like to travel with and you guys click really well and you guys always want to do the same things, one person's a really good leader, one person's a really good follower or vice versa, you can you know it can work out but if there's if both people are followers or both people are leaders it can be kind of difficult um, traveling with another individual and just from the experience that I've had I personally enjoy traveling by myself because it just frees up you know you can do more things that you want to do and if you want to meet different people here or there you can go do that and go on different experiences I'm not trying to knock traveling with people. I actually really enjoy traveling with people. It's just most of the time, there's certain things that I'm trying to do or certain goals I'm trying to reach. When I'm traveling, sometimes I find it easier to travel solo. But when you're traveling solo, it can be a little bit difficult to meet people if you don't know the right places to go. You know, I mean, you can always go to a bar or you can go to the beach or you can go to, there's a lot of cool different places you can just you know, meet people to hang out with. Maybe they're playing um, soccer or volleyball or some people are having a drink or so there's a festival or there's a party. Um, these are all great places to meet people. But where I generally stay when I travel is actually at hostels. I love hostels so much because it's super, super easy to meet people. I mean, you go to a lot of hostels and they have like big lounge areas or they have events or certain things are like, oh, we're doing a tour here, we're doing this group event here, um, everybody's gonna be playing a game of soccer here, or we're doing, you know, we're going to go on a pub crawl or something. I just have found it really easy to meet a lot of like-minded people at hostels when I'm traveling. People at hostels, yeah, are oftentimes a lot more open-minded. Maybe they're solo travelers or they're traveling in a group, but they're generally, especially if they're traveling for longer periods of time, they're more open-minded to talking and meeting new people. It's great because you can have a conversation with people from all around the world. You can have a conversation with somebody from India and Germany, and you can hear all these different perspectives. You guys can maybe network if you guys do stuff online or do business or you're trying to get a job in their country. It's just a phenomenal place to share ideas, you know, brainstorm, just relax and hear different perspectives and ideas from around the world. I really enjoy this because of the open-minded and different philosophical perspectives that these individuals have from, from different places around the world. Now, it definitely depends on the kind of hostel you go to. I've actually found that the more expensive the hostel, the less open-minded the people are. To some hostels that you go to, the people go to and they're like, hey, I'm just getting a room to stay. You know, sometimes I'm going to city for three days. I'm just like, oh, I just need somewhere to stay, somewhere I can sleep, and then I'm gonna explore the temple here. I'm gonna go to the beach here. I'm gonna go to this event here, this festival here. And then before you know it, you're like, oh, I just wanna go home and crash. You go to the hostel and you're crashing and you just want a nice bed, you know, a good meal or something. So depending on, you know, the location, depending on uh, the type of hostel, there's the, the more expensive or more lean more towards individuals who are kind of doing their own thing. The cheaper the hostel, the more open-minded and the more friendly the people generally are. Uh, I found they're just, they tend to be hostels where, you know, you got people traveling for a few months or a few years. I mean, I've, I've met travelers, um, actually I was in transit, but I met a guy who was traveling for five years. Started with no money, was continuing with no money. I mean, he's not gonna stay at the most expensive hostel in the world, but he's super open-minded and he has all this knowledge about traveling. And the guy, you know, he's generally gonna stay at probably a couch surfing or a hostel that's, you know, a few dollars or next to nothing. 
but those are the kind of places that you can meet these kind of people and just learn all kinds of crazy different ideas. All right guys, this is NST, never stop traveling. I really hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions or comments, just put it in the comment box below. If you guys want to follow the music that's uh, on, the, on the end of this video, it's in the comment box. Also, the art is also in the comment box. Please comment, subscribe, share if this is helpful. And then if you guys have any ideas for any other videos that I can make, on travel hacks please let me know if you guys have any questions just let me know I would love to make new videos about this I'm actually gonna be doing one more video on this series so a total of 10 10 travel hacks and then I'll be going into doing some more filming of around Israel and and different cities and stuff and doing top tens so hopefully you guys will enjoy those that kind of videos anyway guys take care and peace out Thank you.